pretty cool coming into this wetland today. Everything's just coming alive this spring. And the frogs behind me are just nuts. It's so cool. Very pretty island here. Very, very pretty. So it's one of the first really awesome days of spring and I decided to come out to the marsh and just tool around, you know, just have fun, get the kayak out. I'm on this island now, uh, marooned myself to have a spot of tea. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I found some uh, birch trees, go take a look for some chaga, and then I want to talk about burl cups, and I'm going to drink my tea out of my burl cup. So let's go look for chaga. Pretty spot. And there's lots of birch trees to check out. Here's one here. This is an oldie there. Don't see any chaga that I can reach. No. Nope. But there's some birch trees along the edge over here I'm gonna go check out. Those are pretty young and in good shape. Usually chaga grows on dying trees. Ooh. All right. Okay, cool. Here's some chaga. Right there. That is chaga. Awesome. All right, this is pretty cool. You know, it's really amazing once you start looking for it, how often you can find it. So chaga is this amazing, uh, just... fungus that grows a lot of times on dead birch trees, but you can find it all over. It looks like charcoal. It looks like um, like the tree got burnt almost. And it's just full of antioxidants and immune system fighting awesomeness and just like it's like the miracle tea of the woods. So what you do is you, you can just put it in your tea like this and just simmer it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a granola bar and have some chaga. So let's go, let's go make some chaga tea. So I brought my Altoid stove today. That's gonna to be my fire. But I use, I use this, it's like the frame of the Esbit stove. You put the little fuel pellet in here. I use that for my Altoid stove. Just fits in there really good. Get my little pot. In goes the chaga. And some water. Add yellow heat. Let's see if I can do this with a striker. There we go. So the tea's done. I've just been letting it cool down and just kind of steep in there with the chaga. But I wanted to show you the finished product on my cups. Now this is the one that you saw me working on from the Jack Pine Burl. It turned out good. What I ended up doing is patching up the little cracks and holes with pitch glue. I went to some jack pine trees, some just, and you can get it from any pine tree, and just collect some resin. And then you melt that. Um, you can use, again, this is where the Altoid tins come in handy. Put some in a little Altoid tin, put it on your wood stove, melt it up, and then crush some charcoal and add that to the mix. It kind of, kind of gives it a little bit more flexibility um, when it's done. And then I applied it to the cup and it, it turned out you know it worked so if you were in the in the woods and needed to patch something up I think that worked out pretty good in the meantime I was carving another cup now these are more the kind of cups I like to carve the real artsy really pretty ones um, this ended up being maple found it on the property and cut it off so 
check this out. This is where I got this uh, burl this morning. And would have sat like that. But look at the wood. I carved out a little spot to hang on to it here. There's some of my buckskin. But you can tell that that was a burl. Very, very pretty. I did have a crack in this one too. And I was just real careful not to get in there. Now to finish your cups, all I do is sand them down. Once I get them where I want them, sand them up, sand them down, nice and smooth. And then I take food grade mineral oil and just wipe the inside and the outside of the cups. And you gotta make sure that you don't put your cups like near your wood stove or anything. You want you want them to dry really slow. So today I'm gonna I'm gonna use my my prettier cup for my chaga tea. So with the chaga, it should be a nice kind of coffee colored. Um, it, it should look like coffee when it's kind of the right consistency. So I haven't drank out of this yet. And I'm going to, I brought it today so I could have some chaga on my kayak trip. Mm. So to me, you know what chaga tastes like? It tastes like uh, the smell when I'm burning maple syrup over my outdoor fire. It's got sort of this, sort of a sweet taste mixed with a smoky taste. Um, it's really, really good. Really one of the better wild teas you can come up with when you're just wandering. And add to that, I taste this wood cup a little bit. Hey, this is a pretty darn good break. Tea and crumpets. Well, granola bar, anyway. Man, it's a beautiful day. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing right now. So yeah. Carve yourself a noggin cup. And start taking it with you on your trips. Because there's nothing like drinking out of a cup you carved yourself. It's pretty sweet. With the tea you found in the woods.